dear students you are welcome to the third session of plant taxonomy in the previous session we have studied the bentham and hooker system of classification where we came across the salient features of the bentham and hooker system the outline of the bentham and hooker system the characteristic features of different classes sub classes series created by bentham and hooker system so in this session we are going to study another system of plant classification that is engler and prandtl system of classification we are going to learn the salient features of engler and prandtl system the characters of different groups created by engler and prandtl knowledge on advanced and primitive characters merits as well as demerits of the system so at the end adolf engler and karl prandtl proposed a system of classification in a classical work by name die naturlichen pflanzen familien the plant kingdom is divided into 13 divisions the 13th division was called embryophyta siphonogamma it was again divided into gymnospermae and angiospermae which were then divided into classes and classes into orders and orders into families the original classification was natural and based on many characters by 1915 their system had a phylogenetic flavor with simple plants listed first and progressing to more complex plants it is an evolutionary system proposed after the acceptance of darwin's theory of evolution the evolution of angiosperms is considered as polyphyletic the gymnosperms are considered to be more primitive and hence were placed before angiosperms angiosperms have been divided into two classes monocotyledons and dicotyledons the monocotyledons precede the dicotyledons they have classified 303 flowering families in their classification the monocotyledons with 11 orders and 45 families and dicotyledons with 44 orders and 258 families so this is the outline of engler and prandtl system of classification so the division 13th division embryophyta siphonogamma is divided under two subdivisions gymnospermae and angiospermae angiospermae again divided under two classes the monocotyledonae and dicotyledonae so the dicotyledonae again divided under two groups orchiclamidae and metaclamidae the salient features of engler and prandtl system of classification the class dicotyledonae was divided into two sub classes namely orchiclamidae and metaclamidae the polypetalae and monoclamidae of bentham and hooker were unified under a single group called orchiclamidae whereas metaclamidae include those families with sympetalous corollas the monocot 
monoclamide of bentham and hooker is completely abolished and their families have been distributed in in orchiclamide the flowers without a perianth or those with one whorl of perianth were considered to be the primitive the flowers with two whorled perianth this distinguished into sepals and petals is considered as an advanced character they stressed that the simple flowers that is with few or no pods were primitive example amentifere a group with reduced flowers were considered to be the primitive one gamopetalous condition is considered as more advanced than the polypetalous condition and the monocotyledons are primitive and placed before dicotyledons indefinite number of stamens and carpels are primitive to the definite number of stamen and carpels the most primitive plants are wind pollinated and most advanced plants are insect pollinated the unisexual plants are more primitive with the passage of time number of sepals and petals are increased the bisexual flowers are considered to be highly advanced when compared to the unisexual flowers free sepals free petals free stamens and carpels are the signs of primitive plants whereas the united condition is considered as an advanced character the epigynous condition is more advanced when compared to the hypogynous condition apocarpe is regarded as a primitive feature and syncarpe as the advanced feature so these are the merits of engler and pantel system and these are the demerits of engler and pantel system so the main distinctive features of engler system which separate it from that of the bentham and hooker systems and all these three aspects we are going to study in the next session that is the session 4 so for reference you may refer these books plant taxonomy by op sharma and another one called plant systematics by guru charan singh thank you